Hi and thanks for tuning in to Seacom Antennas. We're out in the sunshine today and we're about to show you one of our N-Fed half-wave J-Pole antennas. So, we was at Hamfest 2019 last weekend and we had an overwhelming response on this aerial. So many people interested. Now since the show, we've received non-stop questions. So hopefully this short video should give you answers to some of them questions. Now, when you receive this antenna in the post, you're going to get everything you can see there, excluding the tripod. It comes with various sections that you need to put together. Now, every section is labelled, you can see there, with a letter. Now, all you do, you drop each pole into the corresponding pole, drop it down to the black line, tighten up this Jubilee clip, and away you go. It really is that simple. Now, these stickers are put on once we've tuned the antenna. Every antenna is tuned on our aerial analyzer. Um, so before it's sent out, it's put up on this tripod, we tune it, we put the stickers on, we label the stickers. So we know that every antenna sent out is tuned correctly. Now, people have asked what connector you get on the antenna. So here is where you feed your cable into. So let's take that cap off. You get an SO239 connector that's made from PTFE. Now, if you prefer, we can fit an N type connector. All you need to do is message us and we'll make that happen for you. Now, when your coax feeds into there, it goes through this matching transformer which runs down there. It's made from RG213. It's got a small clip on it to stop it flapping around. As your 50 ohm impedance goes in, it is converted up to 200 ohms. So it's tapped onto this J pole at 200 ohms. Now we fix these screws in because we've tuned it on the analyzer, but you can undo them and retune if you require. So, moving down, this is the bottom of the J-pole. Inside here is an aluminium shorting bar that connects these poles and forms the J-shape of your antenna. Further down, we've got the mounting brackets. These will fit up to a 2-inch pole on your mast or side of your house, wherever you're mounting it. Up to a 2-inch. Um, and they're quite sturdy. You get one at the bottom, one at the top. Now on the six metre version you get three of these because of the length of the aerial. Um, and that is your antenna. So I'm going to put this together and I'll be back shortly to show you it in action. Okay, we are back. The antenna is up in the air. That is the four metre N-fed half wave j antenna. Now running up to the antenna I've got RG58. That's running down this mask, across the grass, into this analyzer. Now I've put the analyzer on the floor just because um, I've only got one hand. Now we're going to set the frequency to 70.250. That is the center of the 4 meter band. Number 4 does a sweep of the band. There you go. Now this little marker here tells you what frequency you're on. So at the minute we're on 70.250. Never move down. There you go. That's the bottom of the band there. 70 megs, just below 1.2, and likewise up there, 70.5. You got the same. So we'll go back to the middle. Let's set that right. Now, if we come out of that, show the SWR number seven. So, we're going to do that now. There you go, 1.01. 1 .01. We'll come out of that, I'm going to show you the impedance and the X value. There you go, 50 ohms, 1.01. .01. There you have it, the 4 meter Seacom J-Pole antenna. I hope this video helped you. Any questions, drop a line to us, contact at seacom.co.uk. Thanks for watching.